<laughs> Yo! What's good, everyone? It's Thomas Webb here, founder of Web by Web, aka Hacker.eth on Twitter. You've seen me around. I know you know who I am, and I know who you are. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the first ever video performance from your guy. Um, jump in real quick. I just want to take you for a little spin on some of the new things we've been doing. And I also just got this sweet new rig uh, because I intend on doing this a lot more. We've got so many amazing features and also tools that are going to enable creators and communities to build and create and sculpt the metaverse that we've created. So I thought it was about time I jump on here and I'm not going to wait any longer. Let's, let's dive straight into this plethora of content. Oh God, I'm, I'm new to this <laughs> robotic arm thing. <laughs> Okay, so let's dive straight in. Welcome to the World Wide Web. This obviously is not World Wide Web beta. This is the World Wide Web hacker channel where I have all my hackery things. See, can you see version 2.1133? You don't have that. That's top secret. Okay, so um, some really great advancements and a great shout out to my entire team because without them, this would not be possible. So the World Wide Web is arguably the most powerful 2D metaverse platform or 2D MMORPG platform ever made. And I'll tell you exactly why that is. One, uh, the graphics. Our graphics engine enables us to pretty much do anything on a 2D pixel art plane. So if you've seen a cool game on PlayStation 5 or 4 or 3 or whatever or Steam, we can probably do pretty much everything they can in a 2D sense. And that's why we can really work on some of these cool graphics. Like can you see these holograms, these shaders we've written to make holograms more... Uh, more appealing. We've got some rain particles, but we've got a full weather thing coming soon and weather in game is synchronized across the server. But that brings me on to like the really exciting thing. This entire game right now is not just running in your browser. There's a com there's a complete copy, like a clone of this entire game world running on a server. And that server is controlling your character and mimicking everything you're doing. So everything happening in the game right now is actually happening online running in a game world server, not too dissimilar from the styles of say EVE Online. And to do that in a 2D game engine in the web browser is a pretty massive technical feat. It's something that hasn't really kind of been done before like this. And not to mention the fact that we can also render hundreds and hundreds up to six, 700 players on screen at any one time. And we still don't have any server issues. So th that's one of the biggest things you're not gonna get to see until we open for our public. But I just think it's amazing to think that this drone right now following me, this drone is going to be following me and everyone else in the entire world will see that drone following me and it's identical, which means we can do all sorts of really crazy fun things in the game world where players can create barricades to certain cities, can interact with the cities themselves, the, the terrain and things that players, actions that players take will have direct impacts on not only the game economy, but every other player. I just think that's like, that is what the metaverse should be and that's what we're trying to play around with and explore. So that's the first thing. The second thing, oh, how cool is that? I love that outline shader. What's Bloomer saying? You should be careful who you speak to around here. There's a lot of speculation on. No, no one really knows what's going to happen until Webb tells us. Well, guess what, Bloomer? Today's your day, I'm telling you. Um, I want to share one thing today. I'm going to keep this very short and sweet because I intend on doing these a lot more often. And if they get a lot of feedback and everyone enjoys them, then I will make more of these videos hi highlighting, highlighting, <laughs> halating. I'm going to halate some features that I'd like to show you. Let's get in from that rain. So let's say we've got an NPC, in this case, Satoshi over here. He's like, ah, oh, Thread Guy, you made it. It took so, you so long. I'm Billy, welcome to my lab. If you're looking for some fun. No, I'm not looking for some fun. Come back when you're ready to work. Now that whole experience there, right? It was very short lived, but let's say we want to have an NPC that comes into the game world and interacts with that character. And there's a bit of an interaction between the two of them. In a traditional game setting, you have to write this out in a script with a bunch of commands. And that just wasn't working for us, especially in the context that we wanted to build this massively, massively vast game world with ever expanding story and lore built around the idea of memes, culture, news. And we love making quests that are topical about what's happening in the world. For us, that's a great way for us to express our frustrations and confusions with what's happening in the world by creating these little gamified quests about them. So I came to the conclusion, I said to the team, look, we need to make this faster. So we built this quest engine and we built in a system which I haven't named yet, so I'll take any suggestions in the comments of what we should name it. But essentially we can now open up in-game an app which if you've used the uh, apartment builder, you've seen this before. This is our dynamic iframe system, which allows us to open multiple iframes and apps from web uh, from web web two uh, in the game window 
uh, and then directly position them while you're playing the game, which as a technical innovation is kind of first of its first of its kind, and I think it's fantastic. Um, but this is actually uh, the uh, quest quest editor. So this is a quest engine that you can dynamically edit. So let's say at the start of this quest, we've got a ah third guy. We could actually say, uh, hey, are you watching Webb's stream? You made it. And I am Satoshi. And then I can hit save. And upon doing that, I'm just going to resize this down. Upon doing that, I can now instantly reload the game. And that will dynamically reload all of the quests. Satoshi. Hey, you watching web stream? You guys made it. I'm Satoshi. Welcome to my lab. If you're looking for some fun, I have some errands need doing. Yes. And here we go. Oh, who's the other door? It's Hash. Hey, Graham, what are you doing this time? Hey, Hash, remember your arch nemesis, don't you? Oh, yeah, I remember this loser from school. Okay, I'm going to get out of here. And that is the quest engine. And what's fantastic is that entire, entire dialogue took place within this very short script. And this is how easy it's going to be for you to use the quest engine. When you want NPC to, to appear... All you have to do is quest stage action talk ext. And when you highlight over these functions, it actually tells you what function calls you need to, what variable, what variables and data you need to pass in. And you can use in text considerations like pause. You can do effects. You can also change the color of the text that you're using. And then you can move NPCs around, around the room. So it's super, super, super powerful. Super, super powerful. And you can also control the rate at which you zoom into the game. Let's say at this point, I actually want to zoom in way more. I can actually make this 0 0.2, save, and then I can rerun this entire, entire quest. Can you see that? How it's now zoomed in super close. So it's an extremely powerful game engine that works in real time and allows you to very, very quickly, dynamically create stories and quests. And I'm super, super excited to open this up uh, to the apartments and to our community creators to help us build quests in a future version of World Wide Web. So that's a little hint of what we've been working on, some really cool technology, and we're very excited um, to open up the World of Web very, very soon. I will see you next time. Make sure you like and subscribe this video. I don't know when that's where that is. I guess I should be like, it's down like here somewhere. Like, you know, make sure you give it a like and subscribe if you want to get more updates like this. And of course, make sure you... Uh, Give us a shout out on the Discord or on my Twitter if you like this video, if you like me to make some other videos about some of the features that we've got coming out on World War Web very, very soon. But thank you very much. I'll catch you all in the World War Web.